welcome back to my channel. My name is Trisha and in today's video I am finally upgrading Bowie into a larger enclosure. So for those of you that aren't familiar, Bowie is my Brazilian rainbow boa and she is currently in a 4x2 by, by I think 16 inch tall enclosure. And basically the upgrade that she's getting is just going to be a little bit more in height so it's a 4x2x2. By two by two. So she's not getting that much space in particular this time. I do plan to upgrade her in time, but I just need more space to move. But what's really cool about this upgrade is that it's from Zen Habitat. So this is a PVC enclosure. It also comes with a humidity shield and a substrate shield, which I don't have a substrate shield on Bowie's current enclosure. And every single time I take her out of the enclosure, there's dirt everywhere on the floor and I have to vacuum every single time. So that's like one of the little things that just annoys me. Other than that, her enclosure is just really boring. It doesn't have a naturalistic background and it's kind of impossible to do it on a setup like this. So because you build the Zen habitats yourself, it makes it so much easier to build the background as you're setting everything up in pieces. So yeah, there's just a lot more pluses to just getting a bigger size. I also want her to have more height because Brazilian rainbow boas do like to climb and they are semi-arboreal species. So she really doesn't have that opportunity in her current enclosure. So I wanted to add a lot of elements so that way she could climb and just get more height to move around and just have more room to just exist and do things and just have more enrichment in her enclosure because her current enclosure is so boring. So definitely check out Zen Habitats. My affiliate link is in the description below. If you use that link when you shop, I make a small commission from Zen Habitat. So I really do appreciate when you guys use that link when you shop from them. And if you guys have any questions regarding Zen Habitats in general, I work for them so I can definitely answer your questions as well. Um, so I'm happy to help you guys out there. So yeah, I really appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna get to showing you how I did the entire background. Everything that I used like supplies wise was either from Home Depot or joshesfrogs.com. You can also check out Josh's Frogs in the description below. Um, my coupon code is reptiliangarden15. It is a one-time use only, so use it wisely and definitely check out Josh's Frogs as well. So I'm gonna show you guys how I set up this entire enclosure and the background and get right into it. I'm gonna be rearranging my entire reptile room for this, but it's gonna be so satisfying once it's all done. So it's all gonna come together and I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Please go ahead and leave me any questions that you have or just let me know how you're doing. We could just talk in the comments section. So yeah, we're gonna get into it now. All right, guys, I am ready to start doing Bowie's enclosure. Look at all of the supplies that I have. I am ready, so excited. Lulu, are you pumped? Yeah. So I have these two other enclosures. Actually, that's an enclosure that is a stand. So lots of new changes, but first we're gonna start with Bowie's that I just opened and everything is over here. All right, so I built the whole bottom and the frame. So now I'm just gonna tip it over and start working on the background and use Great Stuff Spray Foam. And the only thing that I'm gonna be mindful of is to just not cover like the very tip top. I'm gonna leave about like an inch along the whole border of the top, just because there's gonna be another piece of like the frame that's gonna have to go over there. I'm just setting things up kind of like how I want them to be with the spray foam. So I taped this to keep it in place. Um, and then I have like two little pots that I'm gonna use for plants. That's one of the plants that I'll be planting. But right now I'm just having it there because it's holding this large piece of cork bark. She'll be able to like climb um, up under it if she wants to, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna like leave a gap there in the foam that way who knows, maybe she can slide up in there and climb on things. Um, so now I'm just going to start spray foaming the background, getting the little plant potters into place and just spray foaming everything. I did the whole back area. Now I just have to wait 24 hours and let this dry and then flip the enclosure and do the other sides and then I should be good to go. So the back is pretty much dry at this point. So now I tipped it onto its side so that way I can spray foam this side of the enclosure.
has been a few hours and the paint is pretty much dry. Um, the whole bottom is kind of dirty, but I just didn't really care because that's going to be covered with substrate anyway. So got a little bit messy. Um, so the next thing that I'm going to do is that like when you're painting the foam, as you can see, like there's some white spots that I couldn't fill in all of the way. What I'm going to do is take some silicone and put it on those spots and then stick substrate to it and moss and just fill in all of those gaps. It'll make it look more naturalistic anyway and just bring some more texture. So that is the next step. And then I'm going to let that dry for, I guess, overnight. And then everything should be good to go in the morning. And I'll just finish decorating it and obviously putting the doors on and setting up the top. <laughs> I just finished pretty much the whole background and then I built the rest of the thing. So I just wanted to talk about a couple of new things that are going on with Zen Habitats because there are a couple of new parts. So first of all, you'll notice these two lines. So what's really cool about this is that it actually helps so that way the doors don't bow at all. Um, there were a couple of instances where I believe corn snakes because they're so slender bodied and they're escape artists. There were a few that actually like went through the doors. So because they were able to like squeeze through that gap, um, obviously it was an issue. So to prevent any escapees, um, Zen Habitats has come out with these two things that you put on the ends of your doors. So it comes with glue and you put this on the end of your door and you literally like, I can't even get my finger in there. Like, there's not gonna be any escapees anymore. Um, it wasn't like a huge issue. I think it was something that only happened like a couple of times, but still it's a nice prevention. And they also have this really cool tool down here. You just hook through your enclosure. It's really cool, very simple. You just set it there. And then if you wanna open your door, it'll lock it. It won't go any farther than this. It just hits that and then your door is locked. So that's for like any kids that you don't want getting into your enclosure or whatever the case is at home. There are some people that just wanted like an extra lock feature. So that is that. Those are just a couple of new things and I really like how this looks. I don't know why it's like satisfying to see that. I, I don't know, I like it. It is time for the big reveal I finally finished. So as you can see, there is a spacer at the bottom, so that's new. And I'm really excited about it because I could just put all of my extra stuff in here. Right now I just have like springtails. What I'm gonna do is move all of the stuff I have stacked on top of that shelf into here just for more storage. And then this right here is uh, Bowie's thermostat. So we have it hooked up right under here to a heat pad that is at the top. Um, everyone always asks what I do for all of these enclosures and they all have heat pads on the bottom. And then this one just has a little LED light that way we can see a little bit better inside the enclosure. So there's Chach in the reflection. Um, so yeah, let's just take a look at Bowie's enclosure. It turned out so good. So we have, I already showed like all the substrate that I'm using and the moss and all of that. So this is the warm hide and she's actually in there right now. So she's settling in. This is her second day. I just didn't get to like talk about everything yet, but I do have footage of her like being introduced. So I'm going to show you guys that at the end, but we have a ton of fake plants all around the enclosure. I actually got, um, I think this one, I have like two of those. I got those ones from Curious Creatures. And then I got a lot of these plants actually from um, Target. They just had them for like, it was like in the dollar section and I thought they were pretty and they're plastic. So it's perfect for using for a reptile enclosure. 
And then I used like the moss and substrate and all of that stuff from Josh's frogs. And then I have a couple of live plants. Um, I'm not sure what they're called. I think this is Dracaena right there. Um, but then this, this, and this, those are the live plants in this enclosure. Um, so yeah, hopefully Bowie won't trample them too much. I added some climbing features like through this, um, what is it called? I think it's called jungle wood at joshusfrogs.com and I love it. So yeah, this is her warm side area. I think it just looks so good. I love it. Um, and then moving to the other side, this is the cool side of the enclosure. So she has a water bowl right here. And then everything is a little bit blocked off right now. Um, so she does have a cool hide right here. It's a little hut, um, but I feel like it's a little bit too small for her because she is pretty big. So what I did was she has this huge piece of cork bark that she can climb on top of. She can actually go like in there too. There's like a hole over there so she can climb up and out of it. And then I had this big like drooping, kind of looks like a weeping willow plant. Um, and I shoved it into the foam. That way it can block off this entire corner. So this entire corner can just function as a cool hide for her. And then if she wants even more security, she also does have this little hide as well. So I think that that turned out really, really cool. It's kind of hard to see in video, but hopefully you guys can like understand what's going on with that. Um, but I'm hoping that I'll actually see her climbing on things for once because I, I mean, she really didn't have any opportunity to climb on anything in her old enclosure. So now she just has a couple new things for her to check out. She was really checking everything out yesterday when I put her in. So I'm going to show you guys the footage of that. But yeah, she's just in her warm hide for now. Um, I do need to get a um, hydrometer still just to measure the humidity because that is something I wanted to get like fancier ones so I'm gonna look into that if you guys have any recommendations go ahead and let me know in the comments I was hoping to get a digital hydrometer um, so yeah that is what I'm looking to get so yeah I love this enclosure I think it turned out so great this works really well too and it also helps with like scratching on the doors it'll like prevent any scratching which is really nice so yeah now I'm like obsessed with this whole area. I just feel like it looks so much better because everything matches. So yeah, go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Leave me any questions. And I'm going to show you guys some footage of Bowie and her new setup. And please check out joshesfrogs.com and Zen Habitats. My affiliate link is in the description. And if you guys have any questions about Zen Habitats, please go ahead and leave it for me and I will help you guys out. So thank you so much for watching.